नोवा स्कोशिया पी एन पी स्किल्ड वर्कर स्ट्रीम वर्क एक्सपीरियंस रिक्वायरमेंट्स दिस इज अ टॉपिक ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ कैंडिडेट्स हुआ टारगेटिंग द नोवा स्कोशिया स्किल्ड वर्कर स्ट्रीम सम फोक्स आर कन्फ्यूज वेदर दे कैन काउंट देर एक्सपीरियंस फ्राम आउटसाइड द प्रोविंस हाउ मच एक्सपीरियंस इज रिक्वायर्ड इन नोवा स्कोशिया वेदर दे कैन अप्लाई ऑन देयर फर्स्ट पे चेक और दे नीड टू वर्क फॉर सेट अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम विद द एम्प्लॉयर बिफोर दे कैन अप्लाई वेर गन आंसर ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन इन दिस वीडियो Welcome back to the channel guys my name is Dhruv i am a regulated canadian immigration consultant and at our firm fcn immigration inc we assist all prospective immigrants with their immigration procedures to canada so if you are a canadian immigrant inside or outside canada and you need any assistance please feel free to contact us our contact information is right here if you want to discuss your case with me personally you can book an appointment the link is in the description below and it's super easy to book an appointment Nova Scotia PNP skilled worker program the skilled worker stream is highly sought after these days and a lot of folks have certain confusions with regards to the work experience and eligibility criteria for the stream in this video we are going to answer all those questions to summarize this stream requires 1 year of work experience in the NOC code or a code that is related to the NOC code of your job offer this experience should have been gained in the past 5 years secondly you need a job offer from a nova scotia employer and thirdly there are english requirements like clb5 or clb4 depending on the tier category of your job offer uh, these requirements for english are pretty standard and pretty pretty relaxed so usually people don't have an issue with this now the main point of confusion is the one year of work experience and because of this a lot of folks are confused and a lot of folks are, uh, end up wasting a lot of time uh, because they are not clear about whether they are eligible with regards to the experience requirement or not the first commonly asked question is does that one year of work experience have to be in nova scotia the answer is no the experience can be anywhere in canada or outside canada it does not does not have to be in nova scotia second common question is does that work experience for one year have to be with the employer the answer is again no the experience can be with any employer inside nova scotia outside nova scotia or anywhere in the world as long as it's related to the job offer that a nova scotia employer is offering you third often asked question is does that experience need to be continuous one year the answer is no the experience can be broken down uh, you can work 6 months with one employer 6 months with another employer you can work 6 months in ontario and then 6 months in alberta and then move to nova scotia uh, and get a job offer and you would still qualify for this program so from the point of work experience you need one year of work experience could be inside nova scotia outside nova scotia or anywhere in the world it could be broken down so you could have worked at different places with different employers and that would still work you don't need to work for any minimum amount with the nova scotia employer to fulfill the experience requirement now there is a case where you do need to work a minimum amount with the nova scotia employer and i'm going to talk about it next if you are getting a job offer in tier category 0 1 2 or 3 this is the skilled work category then you do not need to work any amount of time with the nova scotia employer that is if you have one year of work experience already for example say as a food service supervisor you have one year in ontario for example and you move to nova scotia right with the job offer you can apply for this pnp stream however if the job offer is of tier category 4 or 5 then you cannot apply for uh, the nova scotia pnp right after getting the job offer you need to work with that nova scotia employer who is offering you the job for at least 6 months as an example if you worked as a security guard in ontario or say british columbia for one year now you moved to halifax and got a job as a security guard you cannot apply for this pnp program right away you have to stay at that job for at least 6 months before you can make the application this point here is also one of the biggest confusions most of the applicants have i hope with the questions and answers in this video you were able to get a better sense of 
uh, what qualifies and what does not qualify under the Nova Scotia PNP Skilled Worker Stream. Nova Scotia PNP Skilled Worker Stream continues to be a very good pathway for a lot of folks uh, throughout Canada and even outside Canada. So definitely, if you are eligible, please give this a read. Uh, you can go to the Nova Scotia's uh, website and you can find all the information. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. The link is in the description and our contact information is also given there. That's it for today, guys. I hope this video was able to help you understand the nuances of the Nova Scotia PNP Skilled Worker Stream. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you are notified about any new content and any new video that we upload. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.